Hi everyone. So I was talking with a friend yesterday and I kept on complaining, like I always do in these videos, of how I feel like I was regressing. Actually I was complaining about a slightly different thing, but same idea. I keep complaining and I always think that I am regressing, right? And I think it's just because <coughs> in a sense I am. You know, like if you actually make a direct comparison between the person I am right now and the person I was in high school, a lot of people probably would have preferred me in high school better, including myself. You know, I would have preferred to be friends with me in high school. I would have preferred, you know, to for me to have the mindset I had when I was still in high school. I would have preferred a lot of things when I was like the, the like basically in many aspects I was better in high school for sure I, I, I do admit that and I still believe that however I think a good point is <coughs> that doesn't matter number one because you're not in high school anymore but number two just because you go on a dip in your progression of self doesn't mean you're not growing doesn't mean you're not progressing towards a better version of yourself right because at the end of the day the person I was in high school was quite poorly equipped to deal with life that is why I'm struggling right now right partially the reason why I've changed so much the reason why like I feel like I'm stuck and I feel like I have request is because the person I was in high school had so many holes in them that did not allow them me to adapt for life in college because if the person I was in high school was truly invaluable as I think he was then I would not have regressed you know and so the whole point is like you have to be patient I think you have to accept that and I have to accept that it's okay, you know? I might be a worse on paper version of myself for a couple years. I might not be as motivated. I might not be as fun, as good, as moral, as upright, you know? But <clears throat> at the end of the day, as long as I reflect enough, as long as I am conscious of the changes that are happening, as long as I manage them, as long as I not even try to control, but more so just re recognize and guide um, the changes to myself and to more fully realize who I am and become a more complete person is a good thing. Because everybody needs this like rebuilding phase, I think. Like I was talking with a lot of people here today. And I realize like people are the same. I'm not that special and I have to keep drilling this in my mind. People all in college are all going through very similar things. And <coughs> and like everyone, a lot of people do feel as like college changes people a lot. And it's, you're not gonna stay the same person at all. And a lot of times you are going to have to change as a person and sometimes it feels like that change is for the worse. But eventually you will become a better person you will come out of it better and you will be more better equipped for the modern world because at the end of the day that's where you need to be you know so yeah be patient with yourself if you notice changes in yourself there's for sure a reason monitor them keep them in check but don't get frustrated yourself for becoming a worse person because sometimes it is really out of your control you're reacting to your environments you're better equipping yourself for the world obviously reflect on them obviously like be <coughs> picky about things but don't overly judge yourself for them and don't overly overly get mad so be patient you know yeah that's all i have to say um thank you guys for watching i hope you have a good day bye bye subscribe like the video yes thank you bye